Hi everyone, this is a bit of an experiment today. Uh, we've got a video, which is a commentary driving video. That's where I drive and I talk about what's going on inside and outside the car at the same time. Uh, if you like it, if you find it useful, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. So in this one, we're exploring around the Featherstone area and we'll be looking at parking up in bike lanes and whether that's legal or not. So we're looking to move away from the side of the road. The rear mirror is showing a couple of cars coming. They've gone. The right mirror is showing it's clear. Quick blind spot check. Signal. Off we go. There is a car behind now, so I'll build up my speed fairly quickly. I've got myself to 30. I've got a speed limit to set to 30 so that I can't go over. That's one less worry on my mind. I'll be going straight on, third exit at the roundabout. No one behind me, easing on the brakes. Let's come down to second gear. I can see all of the roads to the right now, so my speed is good. Last minute check before I go on. One, two, signal for three. And nobody's following behind. Let's speed up gently this time. This next roundabout is so huge, it's not even worth thinking of it as a roundabout. Let's just think of it as a one-way system. So I'm not going to signal my intentions as I approach. Second gear, that Mercedes is a long way away. On we go. This is exit one. This is exit two. I'm not increasing my speed while I'm trying to go around the bend. Exits three and four are close together. I'll signal just as I can't go down three. Mirror check to the left, all clear. New road is clear and nobody's followed me in. Straight on, second exit at the next roundabout. Gentle acceleration. Off the gas now, let the car slow itself down. I need to control the speed a bit more with the brake. Road to the right is clear. The car ahead won't cause me any conflict. No signal for coming off because there's no one to see it. Straight on at the next roundabout. This one's slightly downhill. So I will need to use more brake than before. My speed is down to about 20. I'm choosing second gear, clutch back up. All roads to the right are clear. I'm proceeding on to the roundabout. I will signal off because there is a car ahead and it may affect their decision. Taking a right turn at the next roundabout red car behind me is a good distance I'll signal my intention on approach and I'll keep to the right there is only one lane on this roundabout but traditionally people tend to split it up into two so road positioning is crucial at this roundabout all clear on steady speed as I'm going around a sharp bend two signal off for three Slowing down for the car that's parking ahead, getting first gear ready to move, nobody overtaking me in the right mirror, off I go. Now this cycle lane on the left has a broken line around it, which means we could go into it if we needed to. We can even park in it if we want to. miles an hour it's a flat road so I'm using fourth gear just to get a little bit better fuel economy along here while I don't need to change my speed cycle lane both sides still got a broken line around it so as you can see cars do park in it we could dip into it if we needed to pass a vehicle that was maybe waiting in front of us to turn right Obviously we would check a left mirror before moving over there, we don't want to squash cyclists. Going up a slight incline here, fourth gear struggling, back into third. And after these parked cars, I'm going to pull up on the left. Let's start planning it now, there's a van behind me, let's give him a good signal. 
chucking it out of the way, reducing my speed. The van's about to overtake me. And let's park in the shade. And make a neutral signal off. Always bring your signal off when you've stopped. If you leave it ticking away and you then move off with a left signal, that's confusing people. So always remember to bring your signal off. One, two, three. Handbrake, neutral, signal off. Let's get going again. There's a, a van approaching from behind. I'll just wait for him. I've got first gear ready though. Left hand is on the handbrake. Blind spot check, off we go. I didn't feel a signal was going to benefit anybody, so I didn't give one. We're coming up to a mini roundabout. We will be turning right at the mini roundabout. Mini roundabout, signal your intention on approach, but don't worry about an exit signal. You don't have time to do that and all the steering will collide at the same time. Slowing right down. Got second gear, nobody coming out the road to the right, no stupid idiots coming out to the road ahead, no signal for coming off. Going up quite a steep hill, I shall leave it in second gear a little bit longer. You might be able to hear the revs are higher than normal. It's not brilliant for fuel use, but we need to do it to get ourselves up the hill safely. If we chose third gear too soon, We'd probably stall, we'd probably slow down unnecessarily. It says slow in the road. There's a hazard round here, warning sign of animals in the road. We're going to go right at the mini roundabout. This mini roundabout is extremely tight. First gear is essential. So signal my intention on approach. Slowing right down, I will be giving way to the road on the right if there's anybody there. I won't need to give way to traffic coming ahead of me. Very, very slow. This is five miles an hour. And thank you to the pedestrian for waiting. ahead suggest that there must be a sharp bend otherwise I'd crash into the house so let's come down to second gear I can't see clearly around there there's cars parked so people might be on my side of the road there's a black car following behind me I can't see over the brow of the hill yet so I'm just bringing my speed down until I can see and I can now see it's clear to go around these parked cars stay out to the right because there's nothing coming towards me it's not worth tucking into the left and then pulling out to go around the road red car again end of the road I'm turning left second gear I can see both ways are clear no need to stop at all at the end of the road turning left haven't got a very good view to the right or the left here so I'm going to slow down a lot more first gear I can see both ways are now clear. So we did that at about two miles an hour. We're coming to the same mini roundabout as before, just from a different direction. This way is just as tight. So again, I'll be slowing down to about five miles an hour. I'll be giving way to anybody ahead of me who wants to turn right across the front of my bonnet. There isn't anybody there. Nobody taking the mickey from the left. And because it was straight on, there was no signal on approach and no exit signal because we don't do that on mini roundabouts. Got the same pedestrians on the left, say slow in the road. That's because we've got an entrance to the crematorium on the left. We've also got a sharp bend and a downhill. At the bottom of the hill is a mini roundabout. We will be turning right. Now, although I have my speed limiter set to 30, going downhill might make the car try and go a little bit faster. So I've come off the gas, I'm covering the brake. I'll 
signal my intention now. I'm looking for traffic approaching from the right hand side. I can go after that silver car. Nobody on the left breaking the rules. I'll cancel my signal, but I won't give an exit signal. We're approaching a roundabout. I'd like to turn right, second exit. And as we approach, there are two lanes. So it makes sense that the left lane is for turning left, the right lane is for turning right. There are no road markings to suggest that, I just feel that's common sense. And signal left to come off. It's not a mini roundabout, it's a normal roundabout, so we will give that exit signal. And it probably benefited that white van. Still on a 30 mile an hour limit. Pedestrians waiting to cross. I'm just going to nudge away from the curb a little bit while there's no one ahead. That gives me a little bit more time to react if they do step into the road. We have a warning sign for a side road on the right, slightly obscured by the bushes. So a side road on the left, I can tell that because we've got a blue sign with an arrow warning me of something down there. And we're approaching the national speed limit area. Notice how the centre line in the distance disappears. That's because the road isn't very wide. So I'm not actually going to increase my speed at the moment while it's narrow. You do get heavy goods vehicles coming down here. See the centre line reappears, that suggests to me that the road is a little wider. I'm increasing my speed limiter to 60. That doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily do 60. Increasing my speed, I can see there's a bend to the right, it looks shallow. I'm doing about 50 miles an hour here. I can just about make out some reflective posts on the left that suggest to me that there is another bend. So I'm slowing down, there is the bend, taking fourth gear for this. I'll be taking the second road on the right, there are two roads very close together. If we signal too early, it could be misleading, but remember your brake lights are also a form of signalling. I'm just noticing that jogger on the right, checking behind me using my brake lights as my signal to say I'm slowing down, now signal right, nothing coming ahead, the road I'm going into is clear, still national speed limit, there have been no signs to say otherwise. There was also no street lighting, so that would be another clue that this is still national speed limit. Theoretically, we could do 60. What's a safe speed at the moment? I'm doing about 40 because I've got some bends. At the end of this road, we will be turning right. Another sharp bend, I'm just easing off the gas a little. Coming into a bit more of a populated area now with factories. I'm just going to pull into the left here to explain some road signs here. There's no one behind me. Handbrake, neutral, signal off. We've got some road, climbs, road sign clutter ahead. Uh, my words were a bit of clutter then as well, weren't they? We can see a 40 limit. We can also see a national speed limit sign. And we can see a giveaway. Now the 40 is telling me that the road I'm about to turn right or left onto is a 40 mile an hour limit. The national speed limit sign actually applies to the country lane opposite, just where you can see the white van. Let's move off again. Observations, no signal, no one to see it, blind spot check. Now let's signal right. Have a good view 
to the right or the left. So this is almost going to be a stop. It's crawling up half a mile an hour. I'm going to wait for that white van. Probably didn't need to. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Clear both ways. So we're on a 40 mile an hour limit. I'm going to reduce my speed limiter to 40. No one behind me, so gentle acceleration. Let's save a little bit of fuel. Got some signposts for the prison on the right. That tells me that there is a driveway to the right. I've now reached 40 miles an hour. Let's try fifth gear, see if the car likes it. Nope, it's struggling a little. Back into fourth. There's the driveway on the right, driveway on the left. We've got a warning sign for a road on the right. For sale sign is also a clue that there's probably a driveway there. Still in a 40 mile an hour limit. Now using the speed limiter lets me keep to exactly 40 miles an hour. So I'm not doing tiny increases and decreases in speed. That is really going to help my fuel consumption and the obvious benefit to the environment of reduced emissions there. I can see we've got a hill ahead of us. I'll try it in fourth gear. If it struggles, I'll change to third. But given that I'm not changing my speed, I'm already at 40, we should be okay. Pedestrian on the right. Dog walker on the right, the dog looks to be on a lead, that's always a bit of a reassuring sign. Got a car approaching from behind. He's obviously doing a little faster than I am if he's caught me up. We're heading to the end of the road to the traffic lights and turning right. Side roads on the left, I've got pedestrians. Two cars waiting to turn right up in the distance. Car close behind me, I'm just going to ease off the gas so that my speed drops very, very gently. I'm going to keep to the right as I'm intending to turn right. Lights have gone red, let's just check a right mirror before I move into this lane. And a signal on. Stop at the very faded stop line. At the moment, there's no traffic ahead of us to give way to, but we can't really see round that corner, so something could appear at any time. So there's a van. Let's just creep. Creep until I get a good view. That's fine, all clear. Off we go. on a 30 limit now, I've reduced my speed limit to 30, the sign is a little bit covered up by trees. We're approaching quite a big roundabout, this is a motorway junction. We will be going straight on the second exit and it will be signposted Wolverhampton. Now I can't stop to show you the sign but I'll try and freeze frame it when we edit the video later. I can just about see on the green side, Tom. So I think that's Wolverhampton straight ahead. If we look at the green sign in the distance, Wolverhampton is left lane or right lane. If we haven't got a good reason to use the right, let's use the left. We've got a red lorry approaching from the right. I'll just slow down a bit more to time it so that he passes. Sticking to the left lane, it looks like you're going up the motorway. I promise you, you are not. Stick to the left lane. This slip road on the left is coming off the motorway. Can't see anybody there. Left signal to come off. Again, sticking to the left lane. We're now in a 40 limit. Roundabout, we're going straight on. Second exit. 
unless directed otherwise, the left lane will be okay for straight on. Roads clear to the right, we're in the left lane, so stick to the outside of the round mount or the crust of the pizza. We're doing the same again at the next roundabout. Straight on, second exit. We've got a warning that the dual carriageway ends. So although we've got two lanes here, there's a good chance we've only got one lane on the other side of the roundabout. Slowing down, I'm taking second gear here, clutch back up, road is clear to the right. I'm in the left lane, sticking to the left or the crust of the pizza. Signal off, just check that right mirror, make sure nobody's in the right lane trying to beat us. Here we're back to a single carriageway, still a 40 limit, we've got a cyclist on the left. Fourth gear and I'm up to 40 miles an hour. A very good view ahead. I'm at least two seconds away from the car in front. Let's just time it. I'll wait for the car in front to go over a shadow on the road. Only a fool breaks the two second rule. I haven't got there yet so I'm more than two seconds away. I have a feeling the car in front is doing a little less than 40. I am catching him up slightly so I'm just easing off the gas a little. we have a cyclist. Let's plan for it now. Let's ease off the gas. My speed is down to 30. I'm going to take third gear. I won't overtake while I've got a van coming towards me. The road is now wide enough. I actually went a little bit silent there, that's because I was concentrating myself. Back up to 40. Welcome to the city of Wolverhampton. We've got 30 mile an hour limit there, no one behind me. Let's break down to 30. Traffic in front is slowing down for a junction. Reducing my speed limiter to 30. crossing ahead. We've also got a car ahead with one broken brake light. He went a little bit wide for a left turn I feel. Pedestrian looking at the phone rather than where they're going. Zebra crossing is clear. Nobody behind me. There's a van way in the distance. Not a threat at all. There's a pedestrian in the road getting into his van. Back doors are open, that means his activity is unloading or loading, so watch out for other pedestrians around there. When you see one delivery worker, you're quite likely to see another. I've actually come off the gas here, taking second gear, straight on, third exit at the roundabout. I'm not sure where the black car's going, I've slowed down even more, so let's take first gear, road's clear. Stick to the crust of the peak to exit one, exit two, signal left for exit three. Traffic lights are green, but pedestrians just crossed, so they may change to red anyway. Nope, we're good. Got more pedestrians, there's a jogger in the distance. Joggers sometimes have a tendency to step out into the road to avoid obstacles such as parked cars. So just be aware of him. Red car waiting to pull out, he's got time, so I think he'll go. People walking towards the pedestrian crossing there, will they press the button? I've just come off the gas just in case. We've passed the point of no return anyway, so back on the gas. A warning of a school, warning of a roundabout. At that roundabout we will take the first exit off to the left. The van behind me is a good distance. Let's put some brakes on. I don't want to signal left in case people think I'm going to the school. Signal left. Now, slowing down, second gear, all clear. No need to stop. We've got 
very faded box junction in front of us. If the traffic was congested, I'd be slowing down a lot more. But it seems pretty clear to me that we will be able to get across the box junction without stopping in it. Let's signal right for the traffic lights. Lane markings tell me that the right lane is for the right turn. Looks like I'll need to wait in the middle of the junction here for oncoming traffic. Not going too far in because it can make it difficult for people to turn to the road that's on my left. I can't see any traffic light tonight so I'm going to take my cue from when the traffic ahead either dies down or stops. tip for choosing a safe place to stop you always want to avoid stopping over somebody's driveway if you aim for something like a lamppost or a telegraph pole you can pretty much guarantee that that won't be in the middle of somebody's driveway you can also aim for patches of grass they're good landmarks to use hope this video has been useful we've done a full circuit around the Featherstone test area not necessarily a test route but we've shown you some of the bits that might come up on a Featherstone driving test. Have a good day.